Hey everybody, I'm super excited today. I just got a new MIDI controller. As all of you know, I use a big core keyboard for my lessons. And whenever I have to record uh, songs into GarageBand, I mean, I don't mind using the keyboard, it's great, but it's just kind of not practical just because I have to have the laptop to my side and all the MIDI cables running. So I've been checking out MIDI controllers and I got the Akai MPK Mini. This is the MK3, the kind of the last version um, that they came out with. The reviews are amazing. It looks incredible. It's a, it's a mini MIDI controller. Um, and I'm excited because that way I can take it with me. It's powered by um, the, the laptop rather than having to need a separate adapter outlet. So I cannot wait. So I wanted to share the unboxing with you and give you my thoughts as to what it's like. I haven't even opened yet. So I'm going to do that all on camera so you guys can check it out and give you my honest opinion. Um, see how it feels, how it looks, and then connect it to the laptop and see how it works with GarageBand. I know it has the MPC Beats software that comes with it. Um, that's probably uh, too advanced for me right now. And I'm sure there's a million videos that deal with that. So I'll uh, review it based on what I need it, which is again, using it for just writing kind of simple songs and simple beats on GarageBand. So let's check it out. Well, the first thing I have to say is I love the packaging. I'm a sucker for good packaging. I love the red and the black and just the quality of the box. So that already uh, gives me a couple of points for uh, Akai. And I've never actually owned anything Akai. Um, there's a lot of great drum machines growing up, but I just never got anything Akai. So I'm kind of excited to have my first um, Akai product. And the back here looks really cool. Talks about the MPC Beats um, and all the features, but let's go ahead and open it. Check it out, let me move this. All right, there it is. All right, and again, they did not disappoint with the inside. That is really cool packaging with the, the foam. So much smaller than I think there's, you get a, let me put this aside, you get a USB kind of firewire cable to connect to the laptop. Of course, the instructions, which I'll get to in a little bit. I'll put the box to the side. And again, really good packaging. Love the styrofoam. And I just love the look of it. Really, really like that. All right, wow, they even have a covering for the keys. Really nice. Love the pads. Just looks like it's got just a great quality here. This is the best part. Ah, that feels so good. The best. And yeah, the, the reviews are amazing on this thing. So I kind of expected it to be above and beyond what even my expectations, but the pads feel great. It's got a great feel to them. Um, the keys, I know there are many keys, obviously I love playing full size keyboard. Um, and these were kind of more reminiscent of like the old Casio keyboard days, but it's kind of cool because um, I can just travel with this and it has that USB uh, connection, it even has a sustain pedal. Let me bring that to the camera here. Actually, I should show you this way. But we have that USB connector for the laptop and the sustain pedal, which is awesome. So if I needed to use this live just for pads or kind of, um, like a MIDI controller for like, like, like drums and stuff like that. It's just excellent. So again, yeah, these feel really tight. They feel great. And even though they're not full size keys and they're mini keys, I have to say they feel really good. Knobs feel good. They're 360 degree knobs. They just keep rotating. And then we have this little joystick pad, which I actually don't know what it's for, but I'm sure it's for something really cool. So let me connect this to my laptop and to GarageBand, and we'll try it out with some sounds on GarageBand. You might notice the sound is a little bit different just because I usually use a GarageBand for recording the audio for my videos, so I'm actually using my lapel mic, so it's a little bit uh, change in audio quality. So here I have GarageBand open, just an empty project, and we're gonna choose empty project. Now in order to get the Akai to work, you have to choose, since it's a MIDI keyboard, you choose this first one, software instrument, uh, plug in a USB MIDI keyboard. I already plugged it in. The lights are all on and you go to create and that's pretty much it. The great thing is you can already start playing. You already have that electric piano chosen for you, play chords, all that stuff. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. And then if you need to change anything, obviously any of the parameters down here, let's say we want to do a drum kit. I'll go ahead and choose a drum kit here and there would have but the cool thing that I like is with the pads. So we'd have. 
So I love the use of the drum pads um, here, or the pads, I should say. You could assign them to drums. You could assign them to anything. It works with any instrument. Even if I took a, let's do a synthesizer. Um, let's do a bass, some type of bass sound here. So these pads are still assigned to the bass. I love the way that sounds. And you have your octave buttons here, right? So if I needed to go, if this is a bass sound and that was still not low enough, I'd press an octave lower. I'd get even lower if I need to go higher. So it's kind of cool. I like the ease of it. Let's do a lead sound here. Let's do like an 80s lead. And back to octave. Pretty easy to use. You have this kind of joystick here. It, it uh, affects the the attacks so and the pitch. I don't know how much I'd actually use that, but it's kind of cool that it's on there. Then you have the arpeggiator, which is actually pretty awesome. So that repeats the notes. So I appreciate that that's such an easy um, button to press. And then you can press your tap tempo to make sure you get. Uh, whatever tempo you're doing. One, two, three, four. So I like it. It's pretty easy. As far as all these knobs here, they're programmable. GarageBand, I haven't found much you can do with them inside of GarageBand unless you use the added plugin and all the added software that Akai comes with, which is amazing. And again, there's so many tutorials online. I'm not going to get into it right now, but you can program these parameters to do anything like it says here, right? The attack and the delay, uh, any of the modes. You have banks of sounds. Um, you have the program. It has actually a program select here where you press here and it says GarageBand. And I'm going to have to delve a little more into it. But my first impressions are, I just, I love the ease of use. Just plug and play. It beats using the uh, on-screen keyboard that we're used to using on GarageBand, you know, this one, which it works, but obviously having an actual keyboard is a lot easier. So I definitely, for now, recommend it more than anything. I've seen so many reviews. Everybody seems to love it, professionals and novices alike. So it's not even a case that it's a beginner keyboard. I've seen a lot of pros use this um, and they seem to be able to use it for so many different things. So it's kind of like your ma your imagination is, is the limit. Um, I'll check in in a couple of weeks, add a couple of comments, see how, how I continue liking it and see if I can use some of the software that they include. It looks amazing. It just looks like it's a ton of stuff. So I might just start having fun with GarageBand and see where that takes me. And um, that's it. Hope you got something out of this. Hope this helps. If you're looking to get one, it's very affordable. I paid $119 for this on Amazon. So, you know, all things considered is beyond affordable for what it is. I like that it's powered by USB. You don't need an extra adapter for that. So I, a lot of pros. I don't see um, any cons just yet. So hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're making some great music and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.